Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about that love scene. Ooh. <laughs> the love scene is so beautiful. I actually watched it the other day again. I was watching it through. It's gorgeous, it's right? It's so beautiful. So, in, in real life, Ava's in love with Jessa, mm -hmm. right? And then she sees her, because um, Jessa's coming by, she's beautiful, she's pregnant, she's, mm. you know, and all these emotions are stirred up in Ava again, and in Dream World, of course, inhibitions go flying out the window. Yes. And you can actually live out things that you wouldn't necessarily... Be able to in real life. Right. Yes. So, um, the love scene was over six minutes long. We filmed it in slow motion, um, and I ended up leaving it in slow motion in the film. And we did a full length, beginning to end, orgasm. <laughs> and... Our girl here was just all in. You totally went with it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think you have to give all into anything you do. Like any any scene, no matter what it is, you have to give a hundred. You have to give more than a hundred percent for it to be good. You know, you want the audience to come on the journey with you. Yes. So, I mean, yeah, of course. And it was. I mean, I think it's so tasteful and beautiful, yeah. and there's nothing gratuitous. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous love scene. Mm. Um, I yeah. mean, the way you directed it was phenomenal. The DOP, um, she's absolutely yeah. amazing. Jewy. Jewy. Jewy she, Peng. She's, she was so insane. great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. shot it so beautifully. Um, and it was very easy. It wasn't, it was super easy. One of the easiest love scenes I've ever done, actually. Yeah. Well, so, I think being with another woman is mm -hmm. helpful as well, right? Because there's, yeah. you feel a little more comfortable, I think. Yeah. yeah. And you and Lauren, they got along so beautifully mm -hmm. Lauren Nicole Hamilton who I worked with on a perfect ending yeah she's incredible yeah she's such a lovely person <laughs> and she was pregnant yes yeah, so I mean yeah I in mean in real life I mean oh to her for, for yeah doing it pregnant I know right mm -hmm. but I think it added so much beauty I mean I think pregnancy is a beautiful thing and it's not very often you see a pregnant woman involved in a stunning love scene yeah you I know there's any it, I, I don't know of any movies with pregnant people. Yeah, I think maybe there's a comedy, you know, the wonderful Judd Apatow, I think, um, his uh, Knocked Up. Mm -hmm. I think there's a it might be, a, yeah. But it's, you know, like a comedy funny thing, not a serious, you yeah. know, beautiful, emotional journey mm -hmm. um, like this was. And I think that's yeah. really what it is. And if you watch the um, anatomy of the love scene, <laughs> see how I did that plug for <laughs> another movie? Um, at the beginning, uh, the way uh, Varun um, and I uh, worked on that scene together, and uh, Varun is our wonderful, wonderful editor, um, there was a progression. At yeah. the beginning, you see Ava not really being the aggressor, mm -hmm. and then um, slow. there's a moment there's, when the turn yeah, happens, right? Yeah, and you can right? see it. Yeah. yeah, and you can see it, and all of a sudden she, you know... Literally, it's just... Yeah, she just <laughs> releases and, and goes with it. Mm -hmm. And then, how long did we actually have to shoot this love scene? Oh gosh, I mean, I think we did it pretty much in one take in about 30 minutes or something. And we shot it outside. Um, it was insane. <laughs> Our, because the entire set blew down, right? Yeah, the Santa Ana wind. The Santa came Anas came and in. And literally blew our set away. Yeah. And then, so then we had we to take it. a break for a couple of days, and so the area where we we're going to shoot the love scene was completely gone. So we just built a little in the driveway, a little yeah, in the, in the driveway of the house we were staying, rather than this big set up in the corral. Um, we just built like one of the walls out, and this is the beautiful part about filmmaking, right? Mm -hmm. Is is you, can, you know once you suspend your disbelief, we can sort of fo fake things, mm -hmm. and so we just built a little piece of the wall. And just literally shot the whole thing in one direction yeah. as opposed to kind of going around is what we were originally going to do. But I loved it this way mm -hmm. so much. And I, yeah. that's, and there's so is much just, intimacy to it, watching it like yeah. as an audience, just as, like a, as an audience, forgetting that I'm in the movie. Yeah. It was so intimate and it, it really brings you in yeah. as well. Yeah. As I an just, audience member. It's I'm very proud of all of us <laughs> for creating that stunning. Stunning love mm, scene. It's beautiful. Um, it's, it's so beautiful. Yeah. And, and you really gave great orgasm. Thank you. You gotta admit it. Come on. I mean, it, it looks good. It looks good. <laughs>
Okay. Um, Ooh, there needs to be some kind of award. It needs to be. Um, well, there that's, needs to be a, a that's category for best orgasm. That is exactly what I think. Somewhere. Best orgasm. Film festival. Out whoever, there? yeah, <laughs> whoever runs a film festival who is watching this. I need a category for that. Best orgasm category. Or best love scene. Or best love scene. Okay. Either way, it Either could way. win. It could win both. <laughs> <laughs> if I do say so myself, and I do. Myself. 